The violence is creeping up. The shootings are creeping up. The guns are creeping up. And now to my exclusive conversation with Sacramento Police Chief Daniel Hahn. Keep in mind, today's arrest comes as the capital city marks its most violent year in the past five years. Well, talk to me about this, Chief. I mean, are these random uh, acts of violence, random people being shot, or these targeted shootings? I mean, should uh, regular citizens be concerned about this? Typically, um, they're at least in some way targeted. So they're not just people driving down the street just randomly shooting at people. And the chief insists officers are getting results, seizing more illegal firearms than at any other time since 2016. And that doesn't include Friday's arrest. This is officers being proactive, found guns, and through that process also found that these folks were also stealing from EDD and a lot of money from EDD. But here's the deal. The chief notes this increase in homicides over the last year comes as hundreds of officers, including homicide detectives, gang detectives, community outreach officers, and police dispatchers have been redeployed from their primary assignments to monitor violent political protests, most recently at the Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg's home. The mayor's house a few weeks ago uh, required about 80 some officers, so that was uh, challenging. but. You know, that has slowed down a little bit. So our officers are, as you can see in this case, the officers are able to get back into our communities and work with the community organizations and do proactive work where we find guns and, and, we, and we are able to make cases like this that I do think taking those guns off the street will make our community safer. And believe it or not, the chief says the COVID-19 vaccine rollout will hopefully help bring down the crime as well, saying the pandemic has played a part in the recent violence. A lot of the things that we utilize in Sacramento and probably across the country to help um, keep young people out of uh, crime and violence have, have either been put on hold or gone away completely during this health crisis. Now, we have a list of resources to help you during this difficult time. You can text us at 916-321-3310 with the keyword EDD, and we'll send you the list that could help you navigate this complicated process.